Okay, so today we're also gonna learn about Kabuto and how that works and how we can start selling it. So Kabuto is an application that you can install on every single computer that comes into your business, whether they're residential um, or like a business client. And what it will do is detect issues when they bring it back to their office or home. It pops up a little notification that looks like this with your custom branding and contact information. And it says something like, hey, we detected your hard drive is failing, or hey, we detected you're running out of space, or hey, we detected you had a recent application crash. Click here to request service. And when they request service, it will send you an email, you can contact them on the phone, and there you got another job. So that is kind of the basic aspect. Uh, you can look at it as like a marketing tool where they see your brand right when uh, they need you most. So especially if you're in like a metropolitan area or you have a lot of competition, um, this is a really good way to make sure they don't forget about your brand. In addition to that, you get the online dashboard and this helps you see all of the different devices that you have and all of the different requests you've received. Now, so that is the, what we call the base plan of Kabuto. On top of that, we have a whole remote monitoring and management solution. And this can help you increase your recurring revenue and launch essentially an MSP. Um, especially if you're trying to do like a residential MSP, uh, but this also works really great for small office, home office kind of things. Um, so the first thing you get is monitoring. So what monitoring does is it allows you to see all of the different issues that are occurring on the machine from the online dashboard and therefore you can be more proactive. And you can say, you can call them on the phone instead of waiting to uh, have them see a notification and contact you. So monitoring includes that uh, proactive ability to see the issues. And on top of that, it has um, third party and Windows application patch management. It has the ability to see what is installed on their machine, what services are running and what is running on startup. Um, so people usually sell that package to their clients for five to 10 bucks a month um, per device. And the cost to you there is 50 cents. So you're able to obviously calculate your uh, profit there pretty easily. You can have that on none or all of your machines or you know five of them, right? So it's completely as needed. Uh, essentially, uh, we make money when you make money there, right? In addition to monitoring, there's also managed antivirus. So we partnered with a company called MCSoft. They have a product called MCSoft Anti-Malware. Um, it's a really awesome uh, antivirus. I can open it up here. I have it on my own machine. MCSoft uses the Bitdefender engine for antiviruses, which is always like leading the industry and detection and all of that stuff. And then they have their own anti-malware engine on top of that. So it covers the entire array from traditional viruses to anti-malware to potential unwanted programs and modifications. There's surf protection on there if they try to go to a website that's known for distributing malware or something like that. Um, in addition to that, they also have anti-ransomware protection. So they're constantly coming out with new things when uh, ransomware vulnerabilities are discovered. Very awesome application. We make sure that it's always up to date and all that stuff. I'll get into it when we see the online dashboard. But this costs you essentially two bucks a month, including the license and everything. Um, and people, again, sell it for about $10 a month. So um, you can you can put those together in a package. That's what people often do and sell monitoring and manage AV for like 15 to $20 a month uh, to your clients and your cost is 250. So um, that's kind of a high level overview of uh, Kabuto. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into the online dashboard and you can see what it looks like. I will log into my demo account. Okay, so here's our uh, demo account we can see some basic activity from, um, from the machine. Here we can see all of our different customers. So um, let's take a look at uh, Impress Technologies, for example. So here we can see a high level about one of our customers. Impress has one device, um, it's Jesse's device. And if you dive into that device, you can see the recent activity for it and everything. Uh, we can filter that by different things. Um, we also can see the contact info for that particular person um, or the contact info. If we dive back into the company, um, we can see the contact info for that company. Um, okay, so let's take a look at Jesse's device. We'll go back to Impress, go to that device and go here. 
we can see from a monitoring perspective, kind of a red light, green light. Here we can see that um, her hard drive capacity is low and there was a recent application crash. And if we want to see what the capacity actually was, it looks like she's at less than 10%. So we'll probably want to get in touch with her and check that out. We also have Windows updates here on the right hand side. We can see uh, that we can modify the update schedule. I think she has a Windows 10 device. We can actually see that for sure if we go to uh, system. Yeah, so it's Windows 10. So we don't have very much control over actually, you know, what updates are installed or anything because it's Windows 10. Uh, we can only modify the schedule, but you can do that here. So uh, below that, we have managed applications. So here are all the applications that we can manage. Um, if they're not installed, we can install them on Next Sync. Uh, otherwise, we can see that they are installed and we can check this box to keep them up to date. Okay, so moving on to the installed applications tab, here we can see all of the applications that are installed. The ones that are on top that have checkboxes are the ones that can be managed. And here we can you know, see that, okay, Firefox is out of date. We'll go ahead and keep that managed and it'll always keep it up to date now. Moving on to startup applications, here we can see what's running and what's not running on startup. Um, and then on the services tab, we can see the same thing, but for services. So pretty straightforward from monitoring. On the antivirus side, um, here is Kabuto Managed AV. Uh, we can see real-time protection status, surf protection status. If they ever disable these things on their computer, we'll automatically re-enable them. So we're making sure they're always safe. If Likewise, if they uninstall MCSoft, we'll reinstall it automatically. We make sure that it is always up to date. The license will never expire. All of that is taken care of for you. You can also modify your scan schedule and how you want it to work. So if you want to do weekly and then what kind of scan you want and what you want it to do when it finds malware, we update or sorry, we upload the logs for you when we scan. So you can see if something was detected. Um, you can also manually scan on next sync if you want to, if you're concerned that they might have malware, we can modify our protection settings here. So if we want to uh, block, silently when it finds malware this is surf protection so this is like if they go to a website or something like that that's distributing malware um or here's like privacy so we also can like automatically block cookies and all of that stuff that are known to be kind of privacy risks um same goes with file blockers so if we find a file that um is detected as a threat do we want to automatically quarantine it and not even show the customer anything um you can modify all those things here. Under notifications, we can choose what the customer sees. So if they, if we want them to see a little pop-up here that's like, hey, we updated MCSoft, you can check that box. We can also choose what we get notified about. So for example, if we wanna get notified via email when a threat was detected, we can do so. So that is the basics of managed antivirus. Again, very straightforward and plug and play. Under the system tab, you saw this uh, for a second before, but this gives you the basic system info. Under settings, we can choose a couple different things. We can choose what the client sees on their end um, for the pop-up notifications when something occurs. So we can customize that. We can also customize what we get an email for. And then we'll go over this later, but we have an awesome integration with Repair Shopper. And we can choose what alerts we send to Repair Shopper. Let's see, um, policies is something that we will go into in just a second. Um, so policies allow you to have sets of um, settings, right? So like preset configurations. So if we wanted to have one, for example, monitoring plus AV, um, what this will do is it allow us to go set all of the different settings and um, choose all of them. And then we can go to a device or a list of devices. So this one is Jesse's, for example. And I want to say, like, I'm just going to apply this policy to your device. And now it's going to go and change all the settings and make sure that they stay that way. And so if I have a bunch of different devices, um, I guess the use case for this is, let's say you do an MSP plan and you want all your MSP customers to have the same settings, you can do so. And you can apply that on the device level or you can apply it on the customer level. And when you apply it on the customer level, what you're doing is saying, like, all future devices that I add to this customer, I want them to have this policy. So it's not gonna modify your existing devices under that customer, but all future ones. 
I should say that you can also mass select stuff um, by clicking and then holding shift, or you can do control. And then you can mass change stuff here. Um, so if you wanted to apply a policy to multiple devices. Next, what I want to show you is how to actually install Kabuto on a device. So here we have this download installer button. And this download installer button will give you two options, the standard installer. So this is an installer that allows you to configure all the different settings. Um, so what I mean by that is, do I want managed AV? Do I want monitoring? Do I want patch management? Uh, which settings do I want notifications for? All of that stuff you can do in the standard in installer. If you want the customer installer, what this does is you enter a customer, so in press again, and it will actually tie this downloaded installer to that customer. And so when you install it, it already knows that it's gonna be attached to them. Uh, whereas in the standard installer, you can select any customer or even make a new one. The other cool thing about this customer installer is that it doesn't give you the option to enter any of those settings. It only asks you for the contact information for that person. So you can actually send this with this URL you can copy a clipboard very easily. You can send that URL to your clients and they can install Kabuto for you and it'll automatically get applied to that customer and they will only enter their contact info. So it's not very configurable, uh, which is good in that case. And it has your custom branding on it and everything. You can see the URL if you go like to a customer and you go to any of them and you go to the settings, you can see the um, installer for that person. The only other thing is you can also apply a default policy so that when they install it, it's automatically in this case going to install monitoring and manage AV because that's what I have that policy for. So when they use that customer installer, they're getting what you want them to. You can also specify the default device policy on the account level and this will overwrite any installer. So if you use the installer and you, you know, select whatever you want in that standard installer, it'll overwrite it. Let's talk about some of the settings in here. So um, on the, one of the things here is the uh, uninstall code. So the uninstall code prevents people from uninstalling Kabuto from the control panel without entering this code. So this is completely optional. We generate a code for you. Basically when they go and they try to click add or remove programs and then uninstall Kabuto, it asks them for that code and they have to ask you for it. Um, let's see, what else here? Um, let's go to branding. So this is where you change your custom branding. So I have Kabuto installed on my machine here. You can see that I have this custom branding configured and I have my own system tray icon. I can go ahead and click request service and it shows my custom branding as well. All of this stuff is changeable from the online dashboard. You can change it whenever you want. You don't have to like reinstall Kabuto on the device or anything. It'll automatically sync it and keep it up to date. Uh, moving on to the integrations page. So we have a, some really awesome integrations with Repair Shopper. Um, the way these work is you set this up and it actually does a ton of different things on the repair shopper and the Kabuto side. So the first thing it does is it maps customers in Kabuto to customers in repair shopper. And once you do that, it will automatically generate assets on the repair shopper side when you add a device under that customer and it'll have all the like system specs and all of that stuff in that asset on repair shopper. Secondly, when a device has an issue, um, and you have chosen to send it over to Repair Shopper for that type of issue, you will get a ticket made in Repair Shopper for that alert. So that allows you to like automatically generate um, tickets there. Last, um, actually, there's probably a bunch of other things this integration does, but um, one of the other things it does is when you get a request in Kabuto, it creates a lead in Repair Shopper. Um, on the repair shopper side, what it will do is a ton of things on the, uh, Kubu on the repair shopper customer, you can download the customer installer automatically for that customer in repair shopper. Um, there's a ton of other stuff that we're working on with repair shopper regarding this integration. 
Um, they're probably our closest partner. So if you have any questions about that or you want to see the most up-to-date stuff the integration can do, click this Learn More link and we will gladly show you. Um, so to configure that, you'll just need to set up your info um, and click, click Test. And then on the Repair Shopper side in the App Center, there's a card for it. Another integration we have is this system tray menu entries integration. So when you right click your system tray, you have this menu, this context menu. You always will have request service and about, but you can add your own things. So you can have it open a web page, for example, if you want them to be able to go to your website or view your services or something, you can select open web page and then set the URL. And then it'll open Google here, in my case, as just an example. Um, but you could have it also run a file. So you can open a file or upload a file um, and we'll upload it to our servers. And then when they click the link, it will download and run that file. So if you want them to like run your team viewer or something like that, you can say, hey, right click my icon in the bottom right and then click run team viewer and then it will do so. 